So, I have to make this video really quick because I'm gonna get tattooed in about an hour. Yay! Y'all! Um, yeah, so I gave up the pastel pink and now I'm doing a darker pink because pastel pink was really, really boring to me because uh, it was too close to white. And also, um, I took a shower and the next day it was gone. So. Today's video is all about my tongue piercing. My tongue piercings, um, let's see, I got it about a year ago, so I was like 18. And it did not hurt one little bit. <laughs> it was like a 1 out of 10. 1 being the lowest. Like, I would be able to do it like any time of the day. Like, if he was like, hey, let's pierce your tongue now, I'd be like, no. Like, it was really, really simple. And, um, he was, <laughs> he was all joking about it. Like, I don't know. I love my piercer. He's so funny. Um, <clears throat> and basically it, like, you don't feel anything when you get it pierced. It's just like, boop. I mean, you feel like the little tissue part, the, like, tougher tissue at the bottom of your tongue, but that's it. And, um, I don't know, it's just super simple. I didn't bleed, I didn't do this. Um, I didn't even really drool that much. <laughs> TMI. And yay! Um... The aftercare, okay, I do admit it was a bit sore after and I felt like the bar was so like big in my mouth. Like I felt like I couldn't even like speak or this or that. And like I had the weirdest lisp. Like I have a video on here, I think it's called Wilfred Storm Again and is when I first got my cat. And um, my lisp was so bad. Um, and I don't know, John would constantly make fun of me for it. Um, I didn't really eat much. I mean, I, I, the first day I had some soup, but that was like, that was even too much. Like the pepper was too much. And I tried, I had marshmallows. Those were good. Um, <clears throat> what else? I know I had some meatballs. I had, I ate so much meatballs. Like you grab it and you like shove it in the back and then you chew it and then you swallow it. You're like you want to avoid anything touching the piercing and you always mouthwash. It's it's the basic um oral piercing care and I don't know. It's just it was so easy but um it is a bit sore after a week the soreness will go away and yay um you can you'll probably shorten the bar um <clears throat> a little bit later after that and, I don't know, I think my bar was an inch and something, because, yeah, and then, now, I, I went down, like, oh, uh, well, I see, like, normal piercings, and they're, like, like, that big, and my piercing's that big, and then my bar was, like, um, like, mm, that big, like, legit, <laughs> and it was, like, constantly, like, slanted in my mouth, like, here's my tongue. And it was like, like slanted. <laughs> yeah. Um, but I, I totally recommend anyone getting it. I mean, it's super fun and it's it's just fantastic. <laughs> like even John wants one. He's not really into piercings, but it is legit. It's so fun to have this piercing and I definitely recommend it if you're thinking about getting it. I guess the only thing I have left to talk about is the jewelry. A lot of people ask about it. Um, the brand is Leroy Body Jewelry, and uh, it's not cheap. <laughs> I think this one cost me 86 because I got it polished, buffed, internally threaded, and I got it. It's titanium, and it's anodized to oil slick, and I absolutely love it. Um, it's not completely anodized anymore. It's titanium will fade over time, especially if it's in the oral area. I found out more people have their stuff not be as much fade, I guess you could say. <clears throat> so yeah, and that's all I have about the tongue piercing really today. And since I am getting a tattoo, 
um, today. After I'll be recording, you know, aftercare day one, day two, day three, you know, how it's gonna be for your first tattoo, and also, um, I will be making a tattoo video, but that's in at least two weeks from now because I want to get the video prepared. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next week for a makeup video. Okay, meow.